Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our Courageous Leadership with Virginia Pradhan, training you to live a life of courage, full of significance and success in Christ. Our podcast is every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time. You can watch it on Spotify, Podbean, Apple Podcasts, Edify, and many other platforms. We are so grateful for you to uh, be ready to be trained and to confront the situation that we are going right now in um, equipped and ready, ready to change the world. Um, for um, some of you, I uh, I know today I want to talk about is America giving up on freedom for socialists? I call socialists a land a lie and a prison land. I grew up in a socialist Romania, and uh, my memoir, Saving My Assassin, described my life there and my fight, my legal fight against the dictator and my uh, victories with, in Christ's power. By the grace of God, I am here, and I want to share several things with you, and I hope they will encourage you, and they will help you to be strong and courageous, to stand up and speak up. I uh, signed my, uh, my, my books, Freedom is Precious. It's indeed freedom is precious. One is because Christ died for us, and he set us free. So there is no reason for either one of us to be fearful and to be um, attracted by the lies of people, corporation, or even government who offer us freedom in order to put us in a prison land. That's what I call socialist uh, a land of lies and a prison land. The question is, is America giving up on freedom for socialists? You might think that, that that's the situation around us. You see a lot of young people thinking or dreaming that socialists will resolve their problems, thinking that everything, everything needs to be uh, done in a specific way, in the way they want it to be done, and a, a way they want it many times is in a socialist way to take from one person to another and to actually steal from one person to another, from the one that works to the one that refused to work and uh, to create equality. There is no equality under socialist. I want to remind you that um, our founding father values so much freedom. As many of us that we uh, grew up under socialists and communists who um, were um, killed, uh, tortured, uh, disappeared, or under house arrest. I I was under house arrest, tortured. Um, the government sent an assassin to kill me. By the grace of God, I'm alive. But many of us, not only me, will tell you there is no equality under socialists. The socialist does not resolve your problems. Socialist is a society that will create elite. No, not everyone will be equal. No, will be will create elite, and the elite. The ones that will not work or never work in their lives will just uh, repeat the ideology of socialists, will live like our people, wealthy people in America today don't live, don't dream about living in that kind of world. Our founding fathers value freedom because they lived under oppression of, of a government who controlled them, and they wanted to build a society that people will live free, and many of them, they risk their lives, uh, but for your benefits and my benefits and generations to come, they fought and they wanted to build a society 
where freedom was indeed freedom, capitalism, that allows you to, to have freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom to carry arms, and the list goes on. That the government, in the free society of capitalists, that government is not allowed to come into your house without a warrant. Your house, it's your palace. Your house is the place where the government cannot come unless they have a suspicion and a reason, a warrant to come and search your house. Many people around the world will die to have those kind of rights. And it's sad to see today that many, many people have no idea that they have been under freedom and they enjoy freedom for so long that they don't even appreciate very much. Well, many of them, when I came to United States, lots of students, when they graduated from college on graduate school, between the graduation and the time they had to report to work after graduation, they will take their bag in on their back and they will go to Europe or other other um, parts of the world and they will just visit many 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 countries and they learn a lot about the difference between. Uh, capitalist and socialist uh, society where you are free and a society where the, the government controls you. And many of them, they on their return to United States of America, they will feel so blessed and they will share with others how important it is for us to keep that freedom. What happened is you know, after so, so many years, the government developed a very special tool among many, many tools to brainwash the uh, young people's mind and others. And one of the tool is student loans. You hear a lot about student loans and how many liberals they want to attract young people to vote for this student loan. What happened is uh, many of young people receive student loans and they were uh, parents were not able to provide um, money for their education. So they will um, offer student loans or parent loans and parents took the loans for their, their children and they, they had to pay back to the government and so forth. And because the students, when they graduated from college or university, were in debt, they never had the opportunity to go outside of the United States and visit countries and learn about what's what's going on around and around the world and how blessed we are here. And for that reason, uh, the government decided that they those people uh, will be very easy to manipulate and to tell them that socialists will resolve their problem. Uh, uh, after all, they never lived in a society, in socialist society. They never encountered the power and the uh, horror of uh, a socialist government and so forth. But we who live under socialists and communists, we are ready to share with you and to train you and to show you what socialist is all about. For many of you that will read my memoir, Saving My Assassin, again, you can find it at virginiaprodanbooks.com slash product slash book. You will find out that under socialist you are not the one who decide your profession, but the government. And it depends of how loyal you are to the government or how loyal are your parents, not your skills. When you graduate from school, no matter what, college or university, you are not the one going around and finding a job. The government will decide where you're going to uh, serve the government and where you're going to live, what state, what city, what area, according to what, how loyal you are to the government. 
And believe me that it's not unity, that it's not equality. You are always in danger in the communist or the socialist society. No matter how loyal you might be to the government, if someone in your family will say something or someone will betray one of your relatives saying that that person said and saying something wrong, maybe they never said that, the entire family will be arrested. The entire family will be punished. We value so much our freedom in America, and we have been free for so long. In many ways, some of us are ready to give up the freedom without understanding or knowing that by giving us the freedom and the capitalist we are walking into a society, a prison land. Let me give you an example. As you see around you, so many companies, so many people, restaurants or, or clothing store, wherever you want to look around, they are always ready to please you as a customer, to give you discount, to do something that will please you to gain your 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 business, it's totally different in socialist. In socialist, the government is in control. There is no private company. And because the government is in control, the government will decide the price. No coupon, no. If you want to buy something, you buy it. If you don't, you don't have clothes. And if you complain, you go to jail because someone will tell the leaders of the government that you said something. The price and the quality, the price will go up and the quality of your uh, your life, no matter what, groceries and uh, cars, anything, will go down. Let me give you an example. Under socialist Romania and communist Romania, you had to have money ready. The entire amount of uh, the cost of the car ready in, to give it to the government in order to put you on the list for the car, one car that existed in Romania. And after you gave the government the money, the full amount of money, the government will put you on the list. And that means that many times you will receive that car in 10 years. That's the benefits, the beauty of the socialists that you or many, many people believe that will resolve your problems. No, that is not the case. You think that the healthcare in, in America has problems? I agree with you, and we need to work. And lots of liberals are um, guilty of destroying those, the, the health care in America, but also the Republicans are guilty of not speaking up. But let me give you an example of what socialist health care looks like. The government will decide if you receive the health care or not. And one is if you are loyal to the government. If you are not loyal to the government, then they maybe put you in the psychiatric hospital and they will inject you to die there. Also, the government will decide from what age you will not be allowed to receive any medication and just to go home and wait to die. That's the medication. That's the health care and the socialist and the so-called benefits and how the socialist will resolve your problems. And the socialist education will be controlled by the government. If you see now what the, in many states, the government is doing and brainwashing our children and uh, trying to take them away from parents. It's exactly what the socialists did or will did in Romania or will do in the United States of America.
if we don't stand up and speak up and take care of the rights that we have under the Constitution as parents and protect our children, our children soon will be taken away from us. You heard about situation in California where the government wants to adopt laws that if the parents do not agree with their children about the, their gender changing from a boy to a girl or the other way around, the government, they want to adopt a law that the government will be free to take their children, those children from parents considering that the parents are not fit to be loyal to the government in in California, whatever that is. That's going to be our life here in America. Freedom is precious indeed. And I hope you understand that we have a short period of time and we have a, a very important time that we can stand up and speak up. We receive freedom like never, uh, no other people in the world. Receive freedom from people who uh, fought for us, sacrificed their, their own lives in order for us to enjoy that freedom. We got to the point, some of us, where we don't value that freedom anymore. We believe and we are ready, some of us, to um, believe the lies of the people in, in charge, in control, that socialists will resolve our problem. It's time for us to stand up. And if we need to run for offices, if we need to support a strong and conservative person for offices, starting with um, city hall or parents' uh, um, school involvement in school to um, Congress and Senate and uh, White House, it's our time to do that. I, I would love for you, and many times in my speeches, because I speak all over the world in every organization that invite me or school or, or um, groups, I would love for you to read chapter three in my memoir, Saving My Assassin, is a chapter and talks about my uncle. uncle. He was a banker during capitalist, and he was so fearful to speak when the communists with the socialists with the Russian boots came to Romania, thinking that maybe others will, will speak up and situation will be better. And for that reason, he decided to leave Romania to go for a while in, uh, in London. And he stood there for a period of time, thinking everything will be okay. Will, uh, someone else will speak up, not him. When he returned to Romania, back to his uh, business as a banker, and uh, he realized uh, things were even worse and he was not pleased, he started to speak up. Socialist was already in power and they came and took his bank, his business from him and put him in the psychiatric hospital because the government said, socialist government said, it's time for him to be trained, to be loyal to socialist government. I hope none of us will be in that situation. Not even our enemies will be in that situation, that we learn from the past that it's time for us to speak up right now and um, value the Constitution, value the freedom that we have in America and keep that freedom, even develop that freedom anymore. If you do not have the courage to do it for yourself, do it for your children, because if you don't do it, if we do not stand up and fight for freedom and keep America free, when socialists comes, it will take 40, 50, 70, and maybe even more look in China until the socialists collapse. And our children, your children, 
will grow up living in a socialist society in a horrible, horrible situation you never imagined. So I am asking each one of you, wherever God placed you, to stand up and fight for freedom. Fear and faith are contagious. Fear is a normal feeling for everyone, but we do not have to be overwhelmed by the fear of people. We have to fear God who gave us life. Our life is in his hands and he is in charge. If you don't remember anything from what I said, I want you to remember this. I fought against a socialist dictator in Romania, Nicolae Ceausescu, who believed that my life was in his hands. He was wrong. He was, his life was his, in God's hands and my life was in God's hands. He died 35 years ago. And for more than 35 years, I go around the world and tell people what God can do through one person, what he did through me. He changed Romania from a socialist country to a democratic country. You are here too to understand that the evil government or evil company or evil um, boss that you might have that threatens you to betray your God is in God's hands like you are. And God will allow the evil one to have power for a period of time and it's always for his glory that he will show you and people around what he is able, God is able to do through you in your city, in your neighborhood, in America. God wants to change America to each one of us. So let's get together and do the job that God gave us, to each one of us, wherever he placed us, to keep the freedom for America and for generations to come. Until next time, to watch Courageous Leadership with Virginia Prodan. Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock. I hope you go and read the book, buy the book. I can sign it for you at virginiaprodanbooks.com slash product slash book. I hope the book will encourage you that you are here for a reason. And the reason is that God in you can change your life, can give you courage and power to stand up for uh, what God gave us. Freedom comes from him. And for the mission that he gave you, whatever you are, to protect freedom in America and to change America to the America that we knew with freedom and um, opportunity to honor God. Because when America is free and honor God, the whole world is changed and honors God. We, we praise God for this opportunity. We thank you for being with us. Send us any questions or any comments that you might have. We are here to help you and to encourage you and to show you how wherever God plays you, you can be a tool in his hands, a light and shine, and a force to protect freedom and to keep America free. God bless you and see you next time. Until next time, bye-bye.